We are here at Alpha Antennas at Hamvention with my good friend Steve. Remember him? We got to hang out in Florida. He's a cool guy. So Steve's going to talk to us about some really cool antennas. So take it away, Steve. Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> right down here. Click like we and subscribe. Oh, right down, down there. Here. Down There's there. This button down it's here. You click right that there? button. Okay. This guy, <laughs> he's hilarious. I mean, you got to watch his channel. And well, hopefully uh, they are. We are uh, wanting to show you that we. This company, Alpha Antenna, is a new beginning for a lot of people. Alpha, new beginning. Uh, we have the ADA compliance systems for the disabled that we've been putting out for uh, decades. Uh, we're just now getting into the actual ADA compliance that shows we have the certifications. Uh, one of those things uh, that many people have been using who use loops is a SWR sounder. This is a basically like an analyzer. Uh, it has an antenna inside. It will convert the RF to DC plus minus on the little tweeter. It tweets when the loop is tuned. Mm -hmm. So that works really good for the people who are blind, who can't see the analyzers. Mm -hmm. It's an audible analyzer. Uh, that will go and work really well on these 100 watt magnetic loops or any magnetic loop that you might own. Our loops, we have a large knob that we make Guess what? The knobs are made in America. Nice. Right there in Missouri. Come on by, see it happening. On the back, we have backbones that we build in America. Right there. We have our CNC machines, our milling machines. We have a bank of 3D printers that are running 24-7. Uh, on those machines, we'll be printing the Yagi hubs. These Yagi hubs, a lot of people know them as the hex tenna because mm -hmm. it's the shape of a hex. These particular units. Here's the other side. This has the coax connector for the driven okay. hub. The other's the reflector. It's on that boom. It mounts on a one and a quarter inch mast. Okay. It'll take legal limit. The Yagi will do two through 20 meters. Okay. The Hextena that a lot of people know this as will do 440 megahertz 220 megahertz and two meters through 40 meters mm -hmm. legal limit. That's right here on this heavy duty tripod. Okay. This particular system can be deployed as a V dipole, making that 50 ohms instead of 72 ohms as a flat top. So there's no coils, no balance, no nothing, no tricks. It's just a real antenna. It can also be a vertical. The vertical antenna then has a counterpoise deployed correctly at the right angle to make this also 50 ohms at the feed point. Okay. Uh, here's the inside. Here, show Ooh, the world guts. what's inside. Exclusive guts. Scoop. There's the guts. Tell you what, <laughs> if you're not buying an antenna that is real, what, what are you doing? Well, you're going to have losses. Uh -huh. That's what you're going to have. Yep. These particular systems are adjustable telescopic whips that are made from 304 stainless steel. Uh -huh. Zoom in on this. This is a milled ferrule. This right here, this milled base, mm -hmm. you'll just find crimped on. No matter where oh, you yeah. go, you're getting crimped yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. this is milled. No kidding. Okay. Out of 304 stainless steel. Oh, wow. He ain't lying, boys and girls. Yeah. So this is. Yeah, the I know real exactly deal. what you're talking about. Yep. Those crimptons, yep. stay away from them. They fail in three months. And that's just from the public coming and telling me over and over again uh -huh. that they fail in three months. <laughs> Another thing that happens is inside these, when they telescope out, mm -hmm. a lot of people just have brass clippings that they just sort of like shavings almost. Mm -hmm. But it's a flat piece of metal that's brass. By the time you've pulled that in and out over a three month period, mm -hmm. that brass wears down. It's a very soft metal. Mm -hmm. Our clips are stainless steel. Okay. That are inside there holding it. So a lot of special things that we do to make sure that these will last for a really long time. Yeah. Because Alpha is gonna be around for a really long time uh -huh. because I wrote in my will that my employees will inherit my company oh, wow. on my extinction. Nice, are you taking job applications? I uh, am always <laughs> looking to hire individuals. We just last year hired three high schoolers oh, really? who graduated and who went through a one-year training program at Alpha Antenna. They are now stuffing the boards 
on that SWR sounder, that analyzer I showed no you. Kidding. And those are made by the high schoolers. Wow. And That's so awesome. I am so excited. It gives me the chills to be able to create the minds and the actions of those coming up in the ranks yeah. in a small town of Pleasant Hill, Missouri. That's great. Now, what is this antenna over here? So that is the 100 watt loop that we were talking about a moment loop. ago. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, nobody else can build their antenna good enough to be 100 watts, but uh -huh. Alpha Antenna, Alpha, the Alpha dog on the loops. <laughs> we are the best, <laughs> obviously, because it is 100 watts. If yeah. anybody else could ever design it as 100 watts, then they'd be as good as we are, but they're not. And their <laughs> loops don't work as good as ours because they can't have the ERP that 100 watts input provides. Uh huh. Imagine that. Math and science, you can't beat physics. Just the facts here, boys and girls. Just the facts, Just Jack. the facts, Jack. This is an SWR indicator. This little light lights up. Oh, really? When the power is picked up by this pickup lead. Okay. That right there, so if you're deaf and you cannot hear the sounder, mm -hmm. you can now see that light light up visually when your SWR is down That's low. That's new. You didn't have that in Florida, did That's you? That's pretty new. Uh, we've been selling like all of them, but this one. Uh, here's another fun thing that we do that takes a lot of time up on the inner loop. Mm -hmm. The center conductor is all that connects the center pin and the barrel connector. Okay. The braid, we cut it back on both sides, quarter of an inch. That mm. braid is a floating braid that provides 100% RFI rejection oh, wow. for the center conductor on that inner loop. All those other noisy magnetic loops out there, uh -huh. and you say, oh, I thought they were quiet. Well, if they're designed right, they are. And this is the only one that's yeah. designed right. So the rest of them use a flat the, metal the strap. need for a, uh, a choke? At the feed point? You do not need the choke because you can tune this to minimize the common mode current coming okay. back. Now, you could put a choke if you're of the mindset that, oh, I have a little micro amount of common mode feedback coming back mm -hmm. after I tune this. Or you can put clip-on ferret beads. Yeah. You know, they're a nickel a piece at these ham fests, even though some of the vendors out there, they'll sell the coke on a piece, choke on a piece of coax yeah. for $50 or more. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of ways for companies to make money, mm. but we're just going to build the antenna systems, give you a complete system, give you the right solutions, give you the truth. Um, that's what we're here about. Cool. Just tell, tell them the truth. We're going to do the Sheldon Cooper analysis and just tell you what he says, <laughs> direct, upfront, no, yeah, I won't say the words, uh -huh. but there it is. <laughs> nice. Anything else we need to know about? Any other cool uh, well, tricks you got up your sleeve? Well, we do have the HOA Buster, which is a oh, 10 right. through 80 meter antenna uh -huh. that needs no tuner. Okay. That particular antenna is coming in a lot of different colors for the matching of your homes, out uh -huh. exterior. Uh, this okay. is an is a antenna that will activate your largest antenna, which is your gutters. More wire in the oh, air wow. is more better. Yep. That's what my Elmer used to say. Uh -huh. And so out of my own needs, I created this antenna, which is a spike that goes into the ground, Okay. a clip that goes onto the downspout, uh -huh. and you're done. That's 10 to 80 huh. meters without a tuner. Because really? the inductor, once you attach that coax, the inductor matches the capacitance of the gutters. Okay. Yeah. And that's pretty very sick. reasonable price on that uh -huh. uh, the shows and online at alphaantenna.com. Mm -hmm. The last thing, at least for our show, we've got 17 systems online. But here we have an off-center fed vertical dipole. Okay. <laughs> this will not need to use a tuner either. We got one half the antenna and the ballon and the other half of the antenna. Okay. That's the off-center fed design. This has a grounded counterpoise that will complete the circuit to ground. Uh -huh. A lot of portable operators don't ground their portable stations. I don't know what you're talking about. No, oops. <laughs> <laughs> we do that for you. Once okay. we learn that, we ground your system for you uh -huh. because you're not going to if you're POTA. No. Uh, and literally you know, that's never. That's okay. Never. That's okay. We'll do it. And at the antenna where it belongs, so okay. we can get that common mode current off of your coax in the OCF dipole design. Again, mounted on the heavy duty tripod with a very fine and refined aluminum mount right here yeah. underneath the base between the tripod and the match. That's pretty so, slick. 
Mike, we're doing it right. And it looks like it. That's why the military's coming to us. We got Department of Defense. We have so awesome. many others that have come to us now. This year, it's been amazing. Good. It's been a blessing. And getting to know you and so many others, it's been a lot of fun. Well, you're you're too kind. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, I wish you the best of luck. My friend, no problem. Thanks, bud. We'll Peace, see you. Peace, everyone.